Hello everyone, my name is Atik. I am an aerospace engineer at the Boeing company and in my channel few days ago I received a question that what's the difference between aircraft maintenance engineering and the aeronautical engineering program that is taught in Bangladesh. And this question was asked by some of the prospective students who are planning to study uh, their uh, graduate, who are planning to study their undergrad program and they are concerned about like which program would be better for them to choose aeronautical engineering or aircraft maintenance engineering which one is better in terms of job prospect in Bangladesh and also in the higher study in United States Canada or any other countries so in today's video I'm going to discuss about this thing stay with me so in today's video at first uh, I will give you the description and the uh, and the detail detail uh, discussion about the aircraft maintenance engineering and the aeronautical engineering program like what are the main difference between between them and later i will give you my opinion like if i were at your place which one i would pick so first aircraft maintenance engineering by its name it defines that you will be responsible for the maintenance repair and overall of the aircraft or the aircraft power plant or the engine and most likely you will be working for the airlines or the mro major repair and overall center and aeronautical engineering this program prepare you as a design engineer for the top airplane manufacturer or the space manufacturer program like Boeing and Airbus. So these are the main difference in a broad line. Now for if you study, uh, I said earlier, if you study aircraft maintenance engineering, mainly you will work for the airlines. And because the airlines are, is available in Bangladesh, there is, a, there is a misconception that if you study aircraft maintenance engineering, your chance of getting employed will be higher than compared to the aeronautical engineering. So this is not completely true. Okay. Now what was the difference in the study curriculum? If I, st if, if I want to say like the aeronautical engineering, this program is mainly uh, heavily focused on mathematics and physics and especially the mechanics part of mathematics and physics. Whereas the aircraft maintenance pro engineering, still now you will study math and physics, but uh, your study will be mainly focused on most of the practical thing because your work will be hand on job as an aircraft maintenance engineer, not like a design engineer, which you will become by studying aeronautical engineering. Now, uh, most of the people asked me, now I am going back to the main discussion, their concern is that brother which one will be best for me if I study aeronautical engineering or the aircraft maintenance engineering considering both the job in Bangladesh and also the job in abroad or higher study opportunity. So the answer I will give, it is just my opinion, don't take it as a bible, okay. You can always discuss with other person. Uh, I studied aeronautical engineering from Military Institute of Science and Technology MIST back in 2016. I was graduated from there and after that I did my full time job at Novo Air. I was there for about 2 years and 8 months. I worked as a planning engineer and after that I came to United States to continue my masters. I completed my masters and then got job at the world largest aerospace company, the Boeing company and I am working there as an aerospace engineer. So from this experience and working both for Bangladesh and the United States seeing the both side of the coin, I think that uh, I can give you at least an opinion. Now most misconception I found from the people that because uh, there is no aircraft manufacturing industry like Boeing and Airbus in Bangladesh, so they think that there are some airlines in Bangladesh if I study aircraft maintenance engineering that will be easy for me. Now I personally don't believe this because I studied aeronautical engineering and I work for both airlines and the aircraft manufacturer like Boeing. So I can tell you that if you study aeronautical engineering still now you can work for both. And I usually do not recommend people to study aeronautical engineering, uh, those who are not strongly passionate about airplane or the flying vehicles or the space product because if you study aeronautical engineering, it's a, itself a very narrow subject. It will reduce your chances of getting employed both in USA and also in Bangladesh. So what I recommend for them instead of studying aerospace engineering or aeronautical engineering, try to go for mechanical engineering. It will increase your chance to work in wide variety of industry in Bangladesh and also in the USA and also increase your chance of higher study. Okay. But if you are really passionate then come for aeronautical engineering. The same thing applies for aircraft maintenance engineering. It's Aeronautical engineering itself a very narrow field and aircraft maintenance engineering is becoming even more narrow. 
So if you study aircraft maintenance engineering, there is very less chances that you will is, you, you can you can have the chances to work for the airplane manufacturer. Okay, you are unnecessarily narrowing you, narrowing down your field. You will work for the airlines or the MRO field mostly. If rather if you study aeronautical engineering, what will happen? It is it's a broader area. You you can still work for the top manufacturing company like Boeing and Airbus, and also work for the airlines and the MRO. If you study aeronautical engineering, still now airlines will hire you, okay, as a maintenance engineer or the planning engineer like me. And if you study aircraft maintenance engineering, they will also hire you. But in that case, if you study aeronautical engineering, your chances of uh, getting employed not only in Bangladesh but also in the USA and also the higher study uh, will be more. Especially if you want to go come for higher study purpose, if you study aeronautical engineering, you will have a much more option than the aircraft maintenance engineering. So uh, then why I should only consider studying aircraft maintenance engineering? Like if I, I said you, it's a, aeronautical engineering is a very math and physics intensive program. So if you are not uh, find yourself not so much good in math and physics or if you are someone which mostly interested to work on hands-on job rather pen and paper or computer work if you are not a computer guy or if you don't want to study so much like if you don't want to uh, not study if you don't want to spend too much time in the desk rather if you want to explore your time in real aircraft do some hands-on job and if you are not bothered if your hands is dirty uh, then it's okay for you to go for aircraft maintenance engineering i believe that you will enjoy there okay uh, but if you are someone who loves to study who loves math and physics and who is mostly interested about white collar job to lead a white collar do a white collar job and want to work for a top manufacturer like boeing and airbus and also want to increase your chances of higher study for those people i would like to recommend to go for aeronautical engineering okay and uh, in bangladesh surprisingly there are two divide two uh, two division in aeronautical engineering also one is aerospace and one is avionics i also want to discuss a little bit about it also and same division is applicable for aircraft maintenance engineering also they have two division uh, two separation like aerospace and the avionics so to uh, i have a plan to make a full video on it now just today i will give you a just little uh, explanation about them so if you look an airplane from outside all the things that you can see from the outside these are the av aerospace products the mechanical part of the airplane like you can see the wing airframe body fuselage and also the power plant uh, nacelle so everything is everything is air aerospace okay aerospace means the mechanical part of the airplane and the part that you cannot see and also inside the cockpit they are the avionics like radar navigation and autopilot these things are avionics so in broad sense aerospace engineering or aerospace it it describes all the mechanical parts of the airplane and avionics it describes the electrical part or components of the airplane both are demanding both are good good to take so you can easily pick anyone if you are someone interested mostly about electrical and electronics things you can choose the avionics but if you are mostly interested about the mechanical aspect power plant engine airframe of the airplane then you can choose the uh, aerospace both are equally good so i hope today's discussion was helpful for you if you have any further discussion just leave a comment below and i will try to make a video on it in future I wish you all the best and good luck for your upcoming days and the journey to your, your college. Have a good rest of the day.